Oh my gosh! Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today we're going to expose a few secrets about Crush FTP, a file transfer server, and how you can find some juicy vulnerabilities. So make sure you hit that like button because who else is going to show you these secrets? Nobody, that's who! So in a recent statement, an official from Crush FTP said the following. We have seen a customer who was already patched who was probed for this vulnerability. Had they not been updated, important configuration information would have been stolen. We can't stress enough that customers need to update as soon as possible or block all IPs except known good IPs and operate in a whitelisting mode. And a security research team from Rapid7 found that this vulnerability is very easy to exploit with minimal technical effort and without needing any specific access permissions making it a perfect vulnerability for script kitties like you. Anyways, so you're probably wondering, secret letters, spill the tea already. Okay, so first we need to search for crush FTP and this string from hunter.how is exactly how we're gonna do it. Okay, so now we need to run a special Python script that will download these domains and IP addresses for us because we can't do anything with this information if it's stuck in the web browser. So now, once we have our target list, we need to create this special bash script that I made to find versions of Crush FTP below 11.1 .1 because the vulnerability is patched after that. So now, once we got our target list of versions, we need to identify the file read vulnerability in Crush FTP servers by checking if certain files can be read without proper authentication. So that means we first need to establish an anonymous session with the Crush FTP server. Then we want to send some commands using the Crush FTP API to see if certain files can be read without proper authentication. So if the server's response includes content from these files, it indicates that the server is improperly protecting them signifying basically the vulnerability exists. Now this specific GitHub script can be found in the link below. And what it does is again, it exploits improper access controls that should prevent unauthorized reading of sensitive XML configuration files in Crush FTP. So if an attacker can read these files, they could gain information about the server configuration, user accounts and other sensitive data that could be leveraged for further attacks. So you guys know where to find me. Hit me up in the comments section. Find me somewhere out there on Discord. Check out this other AI video. Love it or hate it, the journey is yours, and I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.